Over 30 anglers from participating countries will be arriving on the island in coming days for the return of the Spice Isle Billfish Tournament. This year's event will be held under strict COVID protocols and is open to only vaccinated participants. The tournament runs from January 25th to the 29th. Clinton Bailey says they are excited to be back, noting that they are having agreed with certain specifications handed down by the Ministry of Health. Richard McIntyre, past chairman of the board, says government is in full support of hosting this year's tournament. McIntyre explains the screening process for participants. The structure of our tournament, which has been to, to have a local tournament in the midst of the normal international tournament, and we already have interest from all of the parishes. It is designed to focus and improve fishing amongst the parish teams and so on that will participate but conservation of the billfish species is a must so no one will be allowed to bring to our scale a fish when they're on the boat that's we our limit ends there but to bring to our scale any marlin any any other sports fishing for um I, uh, he speaks on conservation of fish species as they look to include local fish for um, This includes proof of negative PCR tests taken prior to arrival, well as vaccination cards. Along with the SIBT committee, we'll be enforcing a fully vaccinated bubble in which patrons of the club and participants of the tournament are uh, asked to abide with. Please, all anglers will be easily identified using colored hand wristbands, I believe is the, is the term. Title sponsor for the event is Republic Bank, pledging $45,000 towards the tournament. Country manager at the bank, Naomi Diali, sees this hosting of such an activity as an economic boost to the... To support your efforts to offer not just leisure to some of the region's finest anglers and game fishing enthusiasts, but a much needed economic boost to our island. We have followed the tournament and over its 50 years legacy, and we welcome yet another opportunity to be a sponsor to this prestigious event. This sporting activity is not only merited for its financial capabilities, it serves as a key demonstration of Grenada's commitment and readiness to promoting game conservation and environmental preservation while also fostering regional integration. McIntyre highlighted what patrons can look forward to. Nothing will change. They're going to have the parade of the boats going into the harbor. Hopefully they'll blow their horns and we're going to have the cannon being, being you know, operated from the, from the fort and hopefully they could stay clear of the cruise ships that may be on their way in. You know, we usually... Lena John, GBN News.